This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We're on a job today in Greensboro. And what we've got going on here is we've got this area in between these two houses right here that just stays constantly wet. And so when this homeowner called me, he said that both neighbors want to go in together and get this done. So you can see we got one, two, three corrugated pipes here, just all discharging right here with nowhere to go. There's a couple back here as well. And so what we're going to do here is we're just going to catch all these gutters and send them right out to the curb. So that's what we're working on today. This one's a little bit of a challenge because it's dumping right here onto the sidewalk. So we can't catch that one. And if you notice, we have a really, really long run here so what we're going to do is we're just going to stub out right here and the customer may add a downspout right there and that will alleviate some of the load on that that's coming out over there and send it to the curb. All right, so we're gonna be crossing a marked cable here. This is an orange, so it's communication. Two of them. Two of them? So I'm gonna start digging right in this area here to start looking for it. Okay, you think we should lay our pipe out first? So well, we're not doing extra digging? I, I, I'm, that's where the orange line is. So finding the line is, is the first, actually the That's priority. the first step? Right. Okay. And so as we've seen in other videos, never go to this and dig this way. If you accidentally hit it going this way, you're going to cut through the, the line. Okay. If you go this way to, to go down into the ground, easy, of course. But if you hit the line, what you're doing is you're actually pulling the line up instead of digging into it. Instead of so, cutting into it. Correct. Yes, Got sir. Yeah. Okay. So we're going just kind of easy here. We don't want to cut the customer's communication internet lines. There's one right there. All right, that was easy. Actually, this is surprising. It's right on the orange mark. Normally, it's gonna be somewhere between six to 18 inches from the orange mark. In this particular case, it's dead on it. So they did a nice job locating yes, for us. But as you can see, it's not deep. Mm -hmm. It's not deep at all. So you think the trencher would've cut that line? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> trencher would've eaten that line up. Yes. All right, good deal. So what we have here is we have one gas meter and we have two gas meters. And so the gas company is not supposed to do this right here. And in the past where we have a gas meter here, let's say we're working on this house and I call in 811 on this house, they'll mark this line across here and I'm like, okay, there it goes. Well, look at this line. They have it teeing right here somewhere and going across. So anytime you're working on two houses, and we just kind of got lucky between these two because we're, I called it in for both houses. But anytime you have a gas meter and a gas meter and you're working in between, call it in for both properties because this might be happening right here. And we've hit this line before where this the, the locator didn't realize it was teeing off. And we've hit this line before, this gas line. And so I usually, if we're working between two gas meters, we will usually call it in for both houses. We got our main pipe laid out and Mike is spraying it now, marking it. And that mark is what the trencher will follow.
These two gutters are on the neighbor's property here. And so we're starting right here in this natural area. When we start our pipes right at the gutter, you wanna make sure that they're fairly shallow starting out because that gives you the maximum height that you can start from. And so in these natural areas where you can easily cover the pipe back up with pine bark nuggets, it's like free, basically it's free fall. So the guys of course know that they're, they feel free to use whatever fittings they need and we carry tons of fittings on there and so whatever it takes to get that pipe in there and a lot of the the energy of the water that's going to force it to the curb is coming from starting out high right at the gutter here and so we're falling down pretty hard into the main pipe there we are making pretty good progress out here mike got this trench done and we're getting ready to now core the curb over here so we're getting power and water hooked up. Mike's working on that over there. Jeremy and Ronald have been hand trenching over here, working on getting some pipe together. So we're coming through this natural area here. And this is nice because we can just cover it back up with mulch and stay really high. Wait, please. It's right there. On, on this, yep. We are getting ready to core this curb. Now normally we would come in from the street side and that is because we can set the height of the bottom of the core right there at the, at the gutter ditch. But there was quite a crown on the street here in this neighborhood so we had to come in from the back side. And you can see the level right there that Mike's got on the, on the core drill. We're trying to keep that thing at the right angle so that we can hit where we want to on the outside of the curb because we only have one shot at it. We had to stop core drilling for a second here because Ronald found a northern brown snake. We find them a lot when we're digging in natural areas. That's perfect. Woo! Perfect. All right. There you go, come on. All right, that's probably good. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's There's our pipe. It's pretty work. You like that, Mike? I like it. Perfect. <laughs> that's Mike's word. I get asked about the glue we use, so let's take a look. This is called Rain or Shine. It is good for up to six inch pressure and it's also good for wet conditions so this is a primer and cement in one You want to get our next 20 footer in? No. While we're here? I don't want to, I don't want to get too far. Okay. I want us to work from top down like we normally do. Okay. Just make sure our fall stays right. Mind I your fall. keep looking at you instead of the camera. Mind your fall. Mind your fall. Full bubble.
How we doing? We got step on the end of him real quick. Step on, on the collar. Nice yeah. Oh, you good? Good. That's good. That's nice full bubble. Right? You still That's sometimes. Full bubble. Sometimes you step on that, on that collar and you can get her to... Nice. Get just a bit. Full bubble? Yep, full bubble. Oh, hang on, let me get my... Get out of the... There we go. Yep. The full bubble. Okay, that's what you like, right? The full bubble is the excellent. <laughs> Alright, let's get this covered up. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's get this next stick here. Well, yeah. We are doing pretty good here. We're on to our last gutter that's wying in. So before we get this covered up, I wanted to show you really quickly. We caught these two gutters. And these, I'm not sure why they put two downspouts up here, but I guess it's got quite a bit of roof there. That downspout there, we're just gonna angle it onto the pavement. This one on the neighbor here, we got this one caught, and that's coming across here. There's our first Y, and we've got pretty much a full bubble the whole way. We were kind of at about a quarter bubble around in here, but we're back to a full bubble over here. And there's another Y, that's a combination Y right there, because we added a Street 45. Dates, I don't need to date. Nope. I, I have, mind the camera, make sure you can make yeah, sure they see you. Oh, you wrote your whole name, okay. Oh, look at that. Sign your name, Ronald, if you want. Just initial it. Oh, you, you got to be like the Ronald. Whatever you want to do, the as long Ronald. as the camera sees you do it. I got my rock star signature right there. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Full bubble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll throw that nipple up on eBay for y'all. Hold on. What's that? When it sets on the shelf, it's going to set with the bottom side. <laughs> you really got cash on the All right, here's our outfall. So I can't wait to get back out here during the rain. Mike was right around the corner from that job and it's probably about a week later and it was pouring down rain and so he called me and said zip on over. Luckily for me, Mike was willing to drive over to the job and get some footage before the rain stopped. So he caught it during a pretty good downpour. And that also shows how difficult it is to catch this rain because you've got to catch it just right for this after footage. I'd say, uh, I'd say it's working well. We just had a major downpour and Mike was right around the corner, so he got some video, and I'm here. It's been about 10 minutes since it stopped. This is still flowing pretty good. 
but the main thing is look at how dry the yard is so there's a little bit of moisture in here but nothing like it was before So like I've said a million times, taking that gutter water out of the equation can be hugely beneficial. It can make a huge difference, giving that water a way out of here. This is all just surface water now.